what's up beautiful people welcome back to another video now in today's video i'll be making some beer batter shrimp so guys let's get started so here are my shrimp i already washed clean and deveined and i split it down the back so i have more surface area to work with now guys this is totally optional you could just buy your shrimp already clean and deveined but i had to devein mine and clean them and here are the season I'll be using over here. I have some salt, paprika, complete seasoning, seasoning salt, black pepper, all purpose, and lemon seasoning. And in my bowl, I have some cornstarch, some all purpose flour, and baking powder. And of course, I have my beer. Now, the beer batter texture depending on you and how thick you like it or how thin, so you would be needing more or less beer. Now, I'll be mixing my seasoning together and I'm gonna put um, about a teaspoon or two on my shrimp and I'm gonna add the rest to my flour mixture. And now guys for the seasoning it is totally optional to you to use whatever flavor profile you like. And as always, I will leave everything that I'll be using for this recipe down in the description box so you could go ahead and check it out. Now I'm going to combine all the dry ingredients together and I'm going to use my beer to get the consistency I want. Now guys, for this part, you want to do how thick or thin you like it. I want mine to have like a crepe-like consistency. If you want a pancake consistency, go for it. But I want a crepe-like consistency. And this here is the consistency I want. And of course, I forgot to mention we'll be needing some all-purpose flour. Now we're gonna work on our dipping sauce. So to my bowl, I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Some chipotle pepper in adobo sauce. Now guys, for this part, you could add how much or how little you like, depending on your heat level. And I'm going to go in with a squeeze of ketchup. And about two teaspoons of honey. And as always, you could adjust this sauce however you like. You could adjust your spice level and your sweet level to your liking. And I'm going to add a squeeze of lemon juice. And I'm going to go in with a pinch of salt. And I'm going to use my immersion blender to blend this into a smooth consistency. And let me tell you guys this sauce was amazing you could put this on a piece of cardboard and it tasted amazing you should try this one and as always you want to taste and make sure that everything is to your liking now we're gonna fry the shrimp so we're gonna go in the flour and the flour is to make sure to help the um the batter to stick and I'm gonna go in my butter and into my hot oil. My, my oil is heated up to at least 350 degrees. You don't want to fry this in warm oil or else it's gonna soak up all that grease and taste soggy. So you want to make sure your oil is nice and hot. And I'm gonna continue until everything is fully cooked up. And you wanna fry these until cold and brown. This took like about seven minutes in total. And you want to repeat this step until everything is finished. And 
and after seven minutes these are what they're looking like or this is what they are looking like you want to remove them from your oil to drain on a piece of paper towel or you could also drain it on a wire rack it up to you and you want to remove and continue on with the rest of the shrimp using the same step Now that everything is done, this is what my shrimp be looking like. These were amazing. I garnished with some fresh cilantro and some lemon wedges. And that's it beautiful people. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more amazing recipe like this one, hit that subscription button. Turn on the post notification bell so you never miss any of my uploads. Until then, my beautiful people, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.